hello students myself miss jyoti krishna from technical department new english high school and junior college student we already started with computer science paper 2 so let us proceed chapter number 5 that is networking technology already we are seen one session that is session first on networking technology so let us revise very fast what we have studied in session 1 so we have started with computer networking then we have seen different type of computer networking that is lan wan and man the next we have seen network topology the there are three types of topologies bus topology ring topology and star topology we have seen all these three topology in details with their advantages disadvantages and applications now let us proceed to the session second now let us understand what you mean by transmission media now i am talking about the networking technology and you are watching this video so i am spending the information about what about networking technology you are the receiver which is, who is watching the video through which medium youtube so i am the sender which is sending the information about networking technology to you that is the destination and the source source carries the information to destination through which medium through the youtube so youtube is transmission media so there is a sender there is a receiver and a transmission media so a transmission media is anything that carries the information from source or the from source or the sender to the receiver it is a transmission medium through which the data moves from one network devices to another network devices transmission media is very essential for the communication system it is a pathway that carries it is a pathway that carries the information from sender or source to the receiver of destination we use different type of cable that is between the sender and receiver or a wave or in the form of wave to transmit the data data is transmitted through electrical or electromagnetic signal and electric signal is in the form of electric current and electromagnetic signal is a series of electromagnetic energy pulses at various frequency now what are they is electromagnetic energy it includes radio wave rays infrared light visible light ultraviolet light x ray and gamma rays this signal can be transmitted through the copper wire optical fiber atmosphere or water now depending on the type depending on the transmission media you are using each transmission media has its own property now what should be the quality of the data which are sending and which are receiving at the receiver end will depends on this transmission media so different transmission media have different properties like bandwidth delay delay cost and ease of installation and maintenance transmission media is also known as the communication channel transmission medium or transmission media can be divided into two categories wired media or guided media or bounded transmission media wired media uses the cabling system the data signals are bounded by the cabling system there is a physical cable between the sender and the receiver so there is a physical bound to the extent to which this physical cable can be carried so there is a limit so there is bounded so they are bounded by the physical length then the wireless wireless media are not bounded by the physical geography 
the transmission and reception are achieved by means of an antenna in the form of wave unguided media transport electromagnetic wave without using a physical conductor so there is no physical conductor or cable present between the sender and receiver the signals are normally broadcasted through free space and thus are available to anyone who have a device capable of receiving them the wired media are of three types each of them has its own characteristics like transmission speed effect of noise and cost they are twisted pair cable coaxial cable and fiber optics twisted pair cable are of two types unshielded twisted pair cable utp and shielded twisted pair cable that is stp coaxial cable are of two type thin net and thick net fiber optics are of two type single mode and multi mode wireless are of three types radio wave microwave and the infrared wave microwave are further of two type terrestrial microwave and satellite communication microwave so we are going to study each of this in detail their working advantages disadvantages and application of both wired as well as wireless transmission media characteristics of a transmission media very very important topic from the point of view of board exam now transmission characteristics of the media in use are important because the effect the communication quality so these are different characteristics of the transmission media bandwidth band usage attenuation electromagnetic interference cost of media and installation requirement so we are going to see each one of these in detail now very very important topic that is bandwidth the characteristics of a transmission media now the bandwidth of the channel is the range of frequencies there are two frequencies so within that we call that as a bandwidth so difference between the highest and the lowest frequency is nothing but the bandwidth that can be transmitted by the channel so bandwidth is higher frequency let us refer as f2 and the lowest frequency let us refer as f1 so what is bandwidth bandwidth is difference that is higher frequency minus the lower frequency so f2 minus f1 bandwidth is expressed in hertz or in bits per second so it is the capacity data cap carrying capacity of the channel how much data can be carried through the channel that is nothing but we refer to as bandwidth so data transmission rate are number of bits transmitted per second okay so the data transmission rate the maximum amount of information in bits per second that can be transmitted along the channel now see here larger the bandwidth means more the flow see here the, there is a transmission channel the width is very less so less bandwidth so how much data it is transmitting it is transmitting only 50 mega bits per second wider the medium the more data flows through the medium now how much data is flowing 200 mega bits per second or bada transmission media so the more data will flow that is 500 mega bits per second now the bandwidth is directly proportional to speed and more data is more the bandwidth the more the band data is transmission the channel with wider bandwidth has greater data greater the range of frequency the greater is the channel transmission capacity so the length the bandwidth of the cable depends on its length okay so we cannot increase the 
length of the transmission media because the bandwidth is inversely proportional to the length. Huh? Directly proportional to speed but inversely proportional to length. Then the like let, let, let us consider a pipe. Pipe, the water pipe is a bandwidth. So larger the pipe, more data can be transferred per second. The data can be downloaded and uploaded quickly. If you have wider bandwidth, the data can be uploaded or downloaded very fast. Higher the bandwidth, communication channel supports higher data rate. For all cabling design, the maximum length for the cable run are specified. So the cable length means how much meter? 10 meter, 100 meter. So it is specified because after that, so it has a limit. See, after that, the quality of the data, the effect of the noise, the interference all comes into the picture. Because beyond this limit, the higher frequency signals are deteriorated and error occur in the data signal. So we cannot use, so you want to transmit more data, so chalo, bada, 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 nahi, bandwidth bada, nahi, larger bandwidth nahi kar sakti. So kya hota? Higher frequency signal gets and you will get an error. So it is a, there is a limit how much the width of the bandwidth should be, right? So band usage. Band usage is the next characteristics of the transmission media. There are two types of band usage, baseband and broadband. In baseband, the entire bandwidth of the cable is consumed by a single signal. Only one signal is transmitted in baseband. Okay. In broadband, the signals are sent on multiple frequencies and allow all the signals to be sent simultaneously. See here, more than one signals are sent simultaneously. Data, voice, all that are sent simultaneously. Only one channel is transmission on the available bandwidth. Many channels is transmitted on the available bandwidth. Within a bandwidth, many channels can be transmitted simultaneously. Here, the original information can be sent directly. Here, because only one signal is transmitted, at a time, so the original signal we can send directly. The information is modulated and the signal is then in different form because the number of signals are transmitted simultaneously, so it has to be modulated and then it is sent. Small bandwidth is used, only one signal, so we require a smaller bandwidth. Here, bigger bandwidth is required because many channels are sent simultaneously, so the signal, signaling is used is digital. We send the digital signal in baseband. In broadband, the signal, signal used is analog. The signal transmitted in baseband is bidirectional. It can be in bi bidirectional. Here, the signal travel is in unidirectional. So, in one direction only we can send the signal. Then, here the weak in baseband, the twisted pair cable can be used. In broadband, the coaxial cable, now your TV cable, TV, TV channels are all transmitted by the broadband. So LAN or tele, telephone lines are the example of baseband. And cable, cable TV is example of the broadband. Here in baseband, frequency division multiplexing is not possible. Here we don't do frequency division multiplexing. But FDM, that is frequency division multiplication, is done or possible in broadband. So, in exam, sometimes the question asked is distinguish between baseband and broadband. So, three marks question, you have to draw the diagram showing here a single signal and here many signals are transmitted and Six points for three marks. Distinguish between a separate question can come or it may can come in the characteristics of a transmission media. Now let us see the third characteristics of the transmission media. That is attenuation. At the receiver end, the received signal strength must be enough to 
detect. But what happens? The signal strength fall up due to the medium depends on the medium. So it is a measure that how much signal weakens as it travel from the media. Now see if I am delivering a lecture within a limited distance the person who is sitting or the student sitting can hear me properly but if I am delivering a lecture in a big hall and I am not, I'm, I'm even delivering the lecture will it be possible to hear with the same voice in the last bench not possible so what do I need to do? I need to take a mic but I can't do it my voice will remain the same but my mic will amplify my voice so that it reaches the class student so similarly here it attenuation attenuation weaks the signal makes the signal weak why right? while traveling through the transmission media see here diagram original signal when it is transmitted it becomes weak and attenuate ho gaya amplitude kam ho gaya so as the signal travel through the media part of the signal is absorbed and make the signal weak. Now, weak. attenuation decide the cable length. Like attenuation. So, depend upon cable. If you have cable length, you can see the cable length. If you have a limited class, you limited classroom. If you have a limited classroom, you can see the cable length. So, you can see the cable length. attenuation decide the cable length. When the signal stays falls below the certain limit, then the receiver station becomes noisy and noise may happier. Then say, we won't jaga, then voice will not and noise, uh, noise, unwanted noise will appear. Okay, how to overcome this attenuation? So, by using the repeater. Agar aapko jada distance, you have to carry the signal for a longer distance, then you have to use a repeater so that the signal is amplified. As if I told in the example, I have to take mic so that my voice will reach at the last bench. Like it amplifies the voice amplifier or repeaters can be used. The next characteristic of the transmission media is electromagnetic interference. Electromagnetic interference is also called as radio frequency interference RFT is the disturbance generated by an external source that affects an electric signal. So EMI consists of outside electromagnetic noise that disturbs the signal in the medium. Okay, the signal which is traveling in the medium is affected by the external electromagnetic noise. Now what are the sources of this EMI? It is maybe lightning, ignition system, cellular network of your mobile phone. That is electric motor. See, when you have a mixer, you have a phone. Rega, so, there is a disturbance created in your mobile phone. Again, when the mobile phone is kept near the t television, you can see the picture also gets disturbed of your TV. Okay. So, this is the electromagnetic interference. Now, EMI is interfering the signal and make difficult for the computer to decode the signal. So, at the receiver end, receiver and you cannot decode the signal the data sent properly so it is very it makes difficult for the computer at the receiver end to decode the signal the crosstalk occurs when the signal travel from the wire is picked up by the another wire in computer network large numbers of cable is located close together and therefore crosstalk that is the signal going mixing with the another signal that is crosstalk is significant problem in network. Now the next characteristic of the transmission media is the cost of the media. One of the major factor in purchase of the networking component is it cost. For a new fast technology, the cost is also expensive. Like fiber optics, if you are applying, if you are using fiber optics, when the data is transmitted very fast and without the, the quality of the data is also good, but the cost is they are very expensive. So it depends on application and the standard of resources. So depend where you have to use. You can use either a twisted pair cable if you are using in a lab where the computers are to be connected in a LAN. So we can use a twisted pair where only the file sharing or the printer sharing is done. But where high security place you have to use a 
fiber optic so that the your data is not tampered by anyone anyone so so depend where you have to use therefore the network designer must settle for something which is cheaper and robust the next uh, characteristics is installation requirement some transmission media requires network to be to install like your fiber optics anybody cannot install fiber optics because it is a light it is light reflected in night at 90 degree so it must be properly installed this increases the cost of the network so if you are hiring a skilled person he will charge more and the fiber optics are also costly so the network cost will increase it may cause certain delay because installation before installation we need to prepare the actual physical layout of the network so before that we have to draw the diagram how it should be connected there are different topology in which we can connect like bus star and ring so we have to actually draw the physical layout like if you are using a twisted pair cable then anybody can just connect the twisted pair cable between the two computers that is as it doesn't require any person so let us summarize what we have seen in today's session so we have seen what do you mean by transmission media then different types of transmission media then characteristics of transmission media that is bandwidth band usage attenuation electromagnetic interference cost of the media and installation so this is very important that is characteristics of the transmission media from the board point of view so here we came to the end of the networking technology session 2 student please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon so that you will get the notification for the next video